Well, good morning, y'all, and welcome back to the Piney Woods Homestead. This is Matthew. Today we're going to get back on that chicken coop, and we're going to get that thing done. My goal is to get a couple of boards cut that I've got to get finished so we can put those lateral boards up and get the chicken wire put up because those chickens are ready for a new home. They need some space to move around. So that's the plan. Get this thing done, and y'all come along and enjoy it with us. Thanks for stopping in. Let's get to work. I've got me a camp set up here. It's going to be basically I'm cutting one and a half by five and a half inch dimensional lumber and that's going to be for my horizontal supports for the chicken wire to hook to. So I go ahead and get this milled real quick. Y'all, one thing I have figured out after having milled for a while now is that when I'm cutting from a cant and I'm wanting to get, say, one and a half inch thick boards, I leave as many on there as I, as I can while I'm cutting. It keeps the entire cant stable because I've got the little locks, locking mechanisms at the bottom hooked on, and the more weight that's on there, the more stable the whole, the whole cant will be as I'm cutting. So that's why I do that, instead of pulling off each piece one at a time. Y'all, I ain't gonna lie to you, I said a cuss word just a second ago. I rolled a cant over on my finger, a ring finger right there. I don't know if you can see it. I've got a nice blood blister started on that fingernail. Y'all, I cussed like a sailor there for just a second, and I feel like cussing again, but I ain't going to. Throbbing's starting to go down just a little bit, but that's my, that's my strong hand. I need that, but it's gonna be all right. Y'all, every once in a while, a cuss word might slip. That's just part of it. At least I'm out here by myself. Lord heard me. He's done forgiving. Ow! Don't touch the finger. I'm back over here at the chicken coop and my plan was to use a hammer and nails to put these boards on but I'm gonna tell you what I boogered my finger up pretty good and I don't think I, I'm gonna be able to take that jar and a hammer against the nail today so I got my impact driver out and I'm gonna cut these boards to length shouldn't have to cut them much at all and start putting these laterals up and my plan was to get chicken wire up today Y'all, I can't pull it right now. I know I have to ice my hand down just a little bit and get Lisa out here tomorrow to help me get this chicken wire pulled so we can get these chickens moved. They are ready for a new home. I'm ready for them to have a new home, y'all, and I appreciate you hanging around, watching all of this build, getting it done, even though it's taken a while and there's been other things in between. That's just the way it goes, y'all. That's life. But I appreciate you hanging around with me while we're getting it done. And we're almost there, y'all. Then we get some boards trued up, get them sawed to length, and we'll get started putting them up. Y'all, let me show you something here that I find disturbing. I bought these same three inch construction screws 
I don't know, about four or five months ago. Because I use quite a bit of them when I'm not using hammer and nails. And I paid $37 and some change for them. I had to go buy another box of them the other day. There's a thousand pieces in here. I paid $50 for them. Y'all, that's ridiculous. But it is what it is. We're kind of stuck with it. So be smart with your money, smart with your spending. Buy stuff you're going to be using to build stuff that's going to help you live. So I got to cut these boards 100, 117 inches long for them to match up with my 4x4s the way that I'm wanting that I put in the ground. And I'll tell you, this is a little Harbor Freight saw thanks to my mother-in-law whom I love dearly. It's been a great little saw. Lisa bought me a really nice worm gear saw last year when my corded circular saw burned up cutting some timbers when I was doing an extension on the back of her shop that still isn't done and y'all will be seeing me finish it. Bought me a skill saw, the skill brand, a worm drive saw. Man, that thing, that thing I cut through anything and it's heavy as the dick is. I love it. And I'll pull it out when I work on some bigger stuff, but for now, I'll be using the old Harbor Freight deal. Now I got me a spacer down here on the bottom. I'm going to throw a level on this because I kind of want these uh, square with each other as they're going up because I know I have a couple of runs of these boards. Because my chicken wire is 36 inches and I'm doing two runs of it, so six foot. And I need something to attach that wire to as I'm going on down. And it's going to be off the ground, y'all. I'm not having a predator apron on this. This run will just be for the birds during the day. At night, they'll go up into their coop. Lisa will lock them up in there. They'll be just fine. During the day, the predators normally are out in the woods asleep somewhere. So we ain't got to worry about them so much during the day. All right, got it leveled up. Screw it in place. Lisa said I probably ought to stop for today since I've done hurt myself twice. Y'all didn't see it, but <clears throat> I was using a shovel. And I guess my face got in the way of the end of the shovel somehow, and I about knocked my right eyeball out. It looks like I've been punched by Rocky Balboa. Just a lot on my mind today. A lot on my mind. But I like getting out here and working. I'm trying to get my mind off all the crap. And that ain't a bad word. My mama thinks it is. Sorry, mama. Crap. It is a four letter word. Hello, chickens. Y'all getting about tired of me making all this racket, ain't you?
Alright guys, now all I'm doing is coming up six foot from the bottom of my board down here. And that's going to tell me where I need to nail my other board. The top of it, that is. And I want my chicken wire to fully go from the bottom of the board to almost the top of the board. So I'm actually going to go six foot one inches. Actually, six foot two inches, and I believe that'll be just about right. So 74 inches and I'll go along through here and get all my marks done and that's going to tell me where to put my boards and I won't have to worry about using a level. Alright y'all so this gives you an idea of what this is going to look like. A horizontal board on the bottom, horizontal board on the top. The chicken wire is three foot wide. So it's going to be six foot wide and we'll either wire it together on the middle portion here where it needs to be joined or I'll come back and I'll put another board up. I was trying to get away without using so much lumber on this thing, but I don't know. We'll see how it works when I go to putting wire up, and if I need to come back and put more boards in place, I will. No big deal. Got plenty of trees. All right, y'all, I'm going to end it right here for today. My hand's hurting. I don't feel like messing with this anymore today. I'll get back on it tomorrow. It's about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I've been working on this a while, y'all. I did some time-lapse video of the sawmill. Then I banged my hand up and went to cussing. It's just part of it, y'all. But I appreciate you spending a little bit of time with us today at the Piney Woods Homestead. Probably wasn't as exciting as some of the videos, but y'all, that's just part of it. Not everything's exciting, but it is rewarding. So I hope that we can inspire you to live this way too if it's something you're wanting to do. Get you some backyard chickens, grow you some meat birds, raise you some hogs. It's work but it's rewarding. Y'all have a great day, a great week. We'll see you on the next video really soon. And hopefully my hand will be healed.